you sent a podcast the other day. It was how do you scale culture, right? Mm. Like scaling culture is like, to me, that I'm fascinated with that right now yeah. because just in the same breath of uh, culture is a reflection. It's a you breathe life into that as as a an owner, a leader, uh, somebody who who runs the organization. But it can't it can't be dependent upon you. Right? The whole nature of our business is to, to, to move things away, right? Build those systems, build those processes to where someone else has the opportunity to step up and lead, right? That's the whole game. That's the sport. So how do you take culture, which is so personal dependent, person dependent, personality dependent, or perceived to be that way, and systemize it, systematize it to where it can work in any city, yeah. any place, with, with or without you? That's a cool puzzle that I'm excited about, you know? I, I think, so, so to take that full circle for me like these people are spending their life with me and I feel as business owners that it's our obligation to pour everything that we can into that those staff members that our team so that they feel a part of something culture is feeling a part of something and then moving towards a like-minded goal one mind one focus one spirit you know, one thing that we're trying to accomplish at the end of the day, and my job is to get behind that bus and push it as hard as I can. Notice I didn't say get in front of the bus. Let me, I want to be behind the that's bus, right? Because right? when my team falls, I got to be there to catch them. And so for me, that's what culture looks like. Like, and so when, when, when we're here and, and, and we're in the trenches together, they know that I, that I have their back, back to the shield. You know, they know I have their back. I know I have their, and, and it's just, it just goes full circle for me. Like I, the leaders that give the most to their staff, time, energy, speed, pace, everything that you have, yeah. like on a daily, when eight comes and five goes, I want my team to know I laid it all on the line for them today. There was mm. nothing more important than giving them every ounce of me because they're giving me every ounce of them. Mm. And if not, my God, if I, if I grab them and help rise them up to where I'm at, man, what, what are we going to have? We're going to have something so special. That's mm. serious so. reciprocation right there, yeah, no right? Question. That's a law of recipro mm. reciprocation. So... And that's awesome. And it, it's that's obvious with you, by the way. You know that that is not something that, you know, I can tell you that, watching from a distance, I, I know you abide by that. <clears throat> I know you honor that. I think we have people giving it all to, all for us. You know, and it's who are we not to lay it all down for them? You know? responsibility. Yeah, yeah. You can feel that soul and that conviction that burns through you, though, as you say that, right? And I think that's when you say culture is yes. a buzzword. There's a difference between you saying, I'm going to lay it all on the line for my team, and we do fun stuff. You know, yeah, yeah we, we can have yeah. a good time. And that's the one thing about culture I appreciate more as we grow. That's a great is point. We have a great time. We have a, we have a fun time. But, man, the standards are high. <clears throat> man, the stakes right. are high. The problems are big. And the person that is really fun but not willing to lay it on the line doesn't have to be perfect but not willing to lay it on the line. Man, I struggle with that. I struggle with that. It's almost like there's there's a lot that I can deal with and that we can deal with, and it looks every which way. But man, that 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 willingness to give it to your team mm -hmm. is is a big one. For and me. and don't be confused. There will there will be few and far between that cares as much as you care about the mothership. But if we can get them to care as eighty percent as much as we care. Man, you're just you're creating a revival within that organization. You know what I mean? It's just powerful. When I think something you said so too true. about willing to be be willing to lay it on the line, I think that as we get better um, as employers, as team leaders, whatever team builders, whatever you want to call us, I think we've learned enough now about personality to figure out that some of these things you can uncover just through talking to somebody. Right? It's like what train is this? Is this the us train? Is this the is this our train or is this your train? And I think w w what you're saying there, it's like you, you that can't hide. That can't hide in an organization. And I think we've gotten way better with the channels that we go through, you know, to hire somebody or recruit somebody, bring somebody on board, to realize that I, I don't I don't think there's a doubt that anybody we've got here would would, would be willing to lay. You, on you the have line. a hard time in a in a in a, in a culture centric company. It's very difficult to survive unless you're part of that culture. And I love that you bring up the fun too, because it, it just depends on what your, what your culture represents, right? Uh, if your culture is fun, then that's all you need, right? Because you're in a fun, a, a specific business that caters to that. Maybe that's really, really important, right? So um, 
but you know, in, in ours, it, it's, it's about growth. It's about development. It's about progress. It's about becoming the best version of you. Right. So one of my favorite things is not the events that we have. One of my favorite things is not, uh, the banter every day back and forth and, you know, the, the development calls that we do and the books. And I love the group texts when someone's having a hard day and something happens, you know, that's really tough and that's really rough. And then somebody who's going through that all of a sudden sends this random text out and it's a philosophy quote about how tough, tough times sharpen edges. And you watch that person just bloom into this different person. You start to see this little spark that wasn't there before. And to me, I got goosebumps, man. I just got them too. Bro, because it's like, <laughs> that's what, and every company's different, but that's what you're doing. That's what you're looking to do, right? You're looking to make impact. And when you say you're going to lace them every day, that's the greatest gift that you can give, right? It's not ac accomplishments. It's not awards. It's not, it's not, it's, 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 it's watching somebody who has wanted it and put in the work all of a sudden start to see some light. All of a sudden, start to see some progress. Then they start to gain some momentum. They start to build some confidence. confidence. Then all of a sudden, they start to stand on their own. And by the time you know it, they're running. And they look back. All of a sudden, they're like, "How did this happen?" And you're standing there, and you're going, "It was a. Fu it's been beautiful to watch." And you go, "Man, I want to do that a thousand more times." Yeah, wow. very yeah, true. So I want to ask you about that specifically. It makes me think of your sister, uh, Christy, specifically, just because I know her better. But I know you're proud of both of your sisters, and they so both proud. both work with you, and they're both just rock stars. Rock incredible. Yeah. But but uh, I I when you're talking, I was thinking about your sister hitting Circle of Champions and and that production goal, mm -hmm. and how she came into the business and how proud you were. And I know we've had private conversations about how much that fills you up. But man, that had to been cooler than probably any metric that you ever hit to see your sister come into the business and just be crushing it like she is. And and uh, man, that's uh, that's what I made me think of first of all how do you how do you work with your siblings how does that work <laughs> yeah <laughs> i don't know rod how do you how do you work with your mom hey man, I, I, i'm I with mom dad brother-in-law both sisters it's a uh, it's a gift man. like it's a gift like-minded values you know i mean to be serious it's really what it is we have like like-minded values like awesome. my mom comes in this morning like and for the viewers that aren't, aren't watching this and knowing, obviously, one of my business partners is my brother, so I'm completely <laughs> being tongue-in-cheek. So, yeah, yeah.